Hi, uh, I wanted to show you some uh, quick and easy ways to simulate smoke in Photoshop. There is a more complex way where you create a custom brush, which I have done a video for that as well. But um, you may want to try this first because it's uh, a lot more straightforward and easy. And, and it may be good enough for you. So if you go down to the insert layer icon here, and I just want to name that rather than have it layer one. It's good practice to name your layers. And we're going to call it Smoky One. Okay, that's done. So then next you go to Filter, Render, and then Clouds. And this is what you get. Now, if you want to jig that around again, you can go back again and go Filter, Render. Oops. Filter render clouds and it moves it around. Oh, I think my first one was better. That's the risk. If you keep playing around with it, you could <laughs> get a worse one. Let's stay with that anyway. Now you have this cloudy effect and you're thinking, well, well that's no good, is it? Because like it's covering the image. So what you need to do is go and choose screen. Here, so it the default is normal, and you just need to select screen. Okay, it is, looks quite good, but we don't really want the smoke everywhere, do we? So, let's create a little mask. So, can you see here you've got your mask layer, and this little white box here creates a mask. Now, if I go to brush and I make sure I'm on the normal brushes which I select up here to soft round brush should be fine maybe it's a little bit big yeah okay um, it's a little bit big I've gone a bit too small now and I can paint over and remove some of this now make sure what if you're doing a mask like this that you have black selected here because that's what we'll remove now let's say I, I get a bit crazy and I think, oh, move too much. All you've got to do is click this little arrow here so it turns the uh, foreground to white and then you can bring it back. Yeah. And then if I want to erase, I turn it to black again and raise it as I want. So that's a really quick way to create some very uh, subtle smoke. But you don't get a lot of choice in where and how it's positioned, so that's the only issue, but it's not bad, is it really? So that's one way, and I just want to show you one more way. So I'm just going to select a new layer and turn the eye off on that one so we're not looking at it. And then I'm going to name this Smoky 2. Okay, so then I want the brush again and then on the mode I'm going to choose Dissolve. This first leaf is going to look a bit... So just place it where you think maybe a little bit more intense there yeah and then what you do you go to filter blur Whoa. this mouse is really sensitive Gaussian blur so filter blur Gaussian blur and you can see you can fade it out quite a lot or maybe not as much So yeah, it's more like, uh, maybe more like fog or steam, isn't it, this one? So don't go too far so it disappears, and not enough so it's clumpy, so you just have to play with the settings so you get it at how you want. So, okay, this one is much more subtle, um, but really quick. So basically, brush, mode, you change to dissolve, and then you go to filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, yeah? 
And that's it, two really quick ways to simulate smoke or steam in Photoshop. And don't forget, if you want to do the more complex way, you can uh, create your own brush in Photoshop. Okay, we'll have fun and play with it and enjoy testing it out. Bye.